Hi everybody. Pedagogy in its simplest synonym is the method of teaching. You the future facilitator or the teacher or an educator of children in their early years is the sole responsible person in not only articulating what you know and do but also to justify how and why of your activities with the young children towards enhancing their development and learning potentials. Hence, a deeper understanding of the pedagogical approaches and strategies will help you develop, evolve and implement effective teaching strategy. It's a well-realized fact that though children many a time learn from adults, peer group and the environment around them, at times they are found to be more knowledgeable than the adults. Hence, an educator should be an open-minded person to learn and unlearn at an equal pace to foster the learning potential among the learners. This module on meaning, concept, general types of pedagogical techniques and strategies comes to you in the form of three videos and the first video would deal on the concept of the term pedagogy, its components and major approaches. At the end of this video, you will be able to define the term pedagogy and paraphrase that pedagogy is an applied science. Identify and subdivide the general components of pedagogy would be the second outcome. The third outcome is that you will be able to relate the pedagogical approaches with the theoretical implications of child development. Now the question is, pedagogy, is it an art or a science? Let us understand pedagogy as an art. From ancient times, education was assigned the status of art. Education was considered as an art of teaching or the art of leading children to knowledge acquisition. You know, teaching requires three major elements, what we call it as vision, creativity and decision making. Let us understand the fact that the teaching is an art with an analogy, that's the work of a painter and that of a teacher. A skilled painter is one with considerable knowledge of the theories and perspectives of color and composition, having the ability to create a spectrum of colors with three basic forms, namely red, yellow and blue. The three basic colors when put on the color wheel with various gradations of gray creates innumerable shades. And now onto an effective teacher. An effective teacher is one with considerable knowledge of the theories and perspectives of teaching techniques and learning styles, having the ability to apply the knowledge in creating many teaching methods within the basic teaching techniques. When the basic teaching techniques are mixed up with gradations of creativity and a good attitude, the teacher can provide a world of experience to the children. Now let us see how pedagogy is considered as a science. Towards the end of the 19th century and with the emergence of sociology and psychology as fields of study, education was viewed as science, as the practice of teaching was scientifically analyzed in three broader areas. First one is the science of child development, the second one is of the study of how people learn and the third is all about the research on effective teaching or instructional strategies. As with the education being looked upon as a science, the focus was on to teach how to teach. This is where the term pedagogy has gained significance as a field of study that guides the process of teaching and learning. But it has to be accepted that pedagogy is not a fully formed discipline as it is an interdisciplinary plural science. So now, what is a pedagogy? Pedagogy is an applied science. Because of its interdisciplinary plural nature, the field of study pedagogy is no longer debated to be an art or a science. It is now viewed as an applied science, just like the field of medicine. Pedagogy is a field of applied study, wherein the acquired knowledge of teaching is practically applied for effective learning outcomes. Now let us understand how the pedagogy is considered as an applied science. Look at the foot chart. Applied science, the term pedagogy indicating applied science has got two areas, broader areas, what we call it as 
theoretical fundamentals and practical skills. The theoretical fundamentals are derived from the theoretical aspects and elements of teaching put forth by certain pedagogues, namely philosophers, educational theorists and child development theorists. And the second component of being an applied science is what we call it as practical skills. It is all about the practical skills of instruction in line with the learning potential of learners and the pedagogues here where the teachers are the instructors. So, pedagogy is considered to be an applied science. Based on the theoretical implications towards learning and development of children, three major pedagogical approaches were derived as given to you. One is behaviorist pedagogy, second is constructivist pedagogy and the third is social constructivist pedagogy. Now let us look into each of these approaches in detail. Behaviorist pedagogical approach uses the theory of behaviorism. The theoretical implication of Thorndike, Pavlov and Skinner advocates that a teacher acts as a single authority figure and delivers the content using lecture, modeling or demonstrating repetitive learning or rote learning through a reinforcement and punishment elements. It is also referred to as teacher centered approach as it uses direct instruction and lecture based lessons. And the pedagogy of this approach is said to be visible or structured. This approach is also described as a traditional teaching style. However, at times this pedagogy allows the learners to demonstrate a learned activity and hence can easily shift towards being learner centric. The second approach is about the constructivist pedagogy. The theoretical perspectives of Piaget in saying that the children construct their knowledge through schemas when provided with needed experiences supports constructivism. This pedagogical approach puts a child at the center of the learning, hence it is called as learner centric. The methods of learning are through project work and inquiry based learning, maybe it's a questioning, with greater emphasis on outdoor experiences. Therefore, play takes up a dominant position in early childhood education. The pedagogy is said to be invisible and described as a progressive teaching style. The third major approach is social constructivist pedagogy. This approach is a blended approach of both behaviorism and constructivism. In other words, it is both teacher centric and learner centric. The theoretical inputs of Vygotsky serve as an impetus for this approach. He strongly believes that learning not only happens with constructing knowledge through schemas, but it is also through the interaction of the learner with the society at large and the teacher in particular to the classroom setting. He stated that effective learning is a collaborative process. The methods to be used in this pedagogy are group work, brainstorming or questioning sessions with a proper mixture of individual, small group and large group strategies. Though these three forms of pedagogical approaches are spelt in common, early childhood education pedagogy is of two types based on who initiates the experience, whether the child or the teacher, which would be dealt in the next video. Thank you.